and this series is 100% an example of that. And that is because this is going to be Soul versus Naz. And let's have a look at their players. And as you can see, going out strong with the ASL uh, ASL qualified Miso. I don't want to spoil anything, but watch all of the groups if you haven't already. They're all really, really good. As the first game against Batorsai, uh, the Protoss player from Naz, quite a strong player in amongst himself. Obviously the underdog in that matchup. I'm following that. We're going to have Scan, the one and only Scan, the foreign terror, the guy who lived in America for many years, the guy who many people refuse to believe should be allowed to play in foreign tournaments. Uh, but I always let him play in all of mine because I like Scan. And he's going to be up against one of the old school foreign Protoss players. It is going to be Sugo, who used to be on Pain. Following up to that, we've got another TVP. This time with one of the strongest foreign Terran players, if not the strongest. It is Dandy. And he is going to be playing against one of the strongest American players, if not the strongest American player, I believe he won... No, wait. Did he win or did... No, Michael won, didn't he? he I believe he came very close uh, in the... What company did it? How have I forgotten? Zotac. The Zotac Cup America. Uh, he... Yeah, either way, Dragon is a very strong Protoss player. And then finally, in the fourth match, not sure if it goes to the Ace, as I said before, uh, but it is going to be Ultra versus Beast. Another really good TVP matchup there. So looking forward to that. Uh, Naz sending out an all Protoss team. I'm, part of me wonders if I should change the rules to make people field at least one of each race, but you know what? It's not too bad. Some of the teams do just have like Protoss and Zerg players. There's not actually that many foreign foreign Terran players, so it can't be helped. And let's have a look at the arenas of choice for this week. Uh, if you've been watching the previous part of the cast, you would have seen these already. Uh, but just to go through them again, we are going to have Judgment Day as the first map. That is a really cool four-player map. Sinchapung Ryung, which is a two-player map. New Empire of the Sun, four-player. Neo Moonglaive, a three-player map. Finally, if we get to the ace match, it's going to be... Gladiator. So that should be a lot of fun. We did get to an ace match yesterday. I don't want to spoil what series it was. All the VODs are up on my YouTube and I recommend you go and check them out. They're really cool games. Uh, I'm not sure about my casting, but you know what? <laughs> the games are cool, so that's all that matters. Uh, let's just quickly have a look at the uh, matchup. Of course, this is going to be Soul vs. Nas. Thank you very much for the host. Uh, once again, I've got the sound for all of that, but I can't actually see anything. Uh, but yeah, cheers. Cheers a lot for the host. Uh, we are going to have Soul versus Nasnil. And the first players we are going to see is Miso and Batorsai. Now, Batorsai, obviously the underdog coming into this series. But I th I feel like he's going to show a good game. And, um... Yeah, there we go. And by the way, you say, why doesn't it have an English name? All of the maps only have an English name, because if you read the Korean, it's what it says in English. <laughs> it's just, this is the one. This and Sin Peaks of Big Do are like the two major maps that I can think of that have actually just got a fully Korean name. That's why it doesn't really have a, um, have a different thing. But let's have a look at the first map. It is going to be Judgment Day. We are going to see yet another PVZ with Sin, I believe, three so far today. And this is going to be the fourth. Uh, we started off the day with Protoss uh, Zerg up 3-1. We saw a very good PVZ where the Protoss did pull it back, uh, bringing back the stats on the overall uh, on the overall graph there in, in my database. Uh, that's going to increase, of course, as I cast more games, and I'm going to cast every single game of this STPL. Thank you very much for the follows. I can't see your names or anything. I do apologize. I'll turn on my follow notifications next time. But let's get going into the first game between Miso and and that also and let me just make sure i'm posting it and let's get going okay apparently that's still showing the old uh i swear i fixed this Ah, there we go. It's fixed. We're good. We're fine. 
I thought I'd broke my overlay. <laughs> oh, but yeah, here we go. Let's actually get going. Don't show the screen. Okay. That's fine. I guess that makes sense. That is a very fair point. Okay, so, starting us off, in the bottom right corner, we do have the blue Protoss fighting for Naz. It's going to be a battle site. And actually, I just need to turn off my synthwave and go into the game music. And spawning us in the bottom left, it is Soul's arguably best player. It is Miso in the red, in the 7 o'clock position. So as I said, this is going to be a very, very difficult uh, difficult position for Batosai to actually fight his way through. There's going to be a lot of psychological pressure uh, being... I did put a map picture on stream, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, there's going to be a lot of psychological functions going into this match. Batosai wants to win purely because he wants to show off a good game for his teammates. He wants to make sure he puts his team on the table and uh, go from there. Let's actually just bring up the top overlay and just make sure that's showing. And let's get going with this game. Looks like we are going to have possibly a gateway expand here. Although this is kind of an interesting thing to do with the probe. Usually if it is forged you do see them. Yeah there we go gateway. Uh, usually you actually see the Protoss player send the uh, probe back to mine but I guess it is quite a long way away from the choke so maybe he doesn't actually want to do that but uh, but also I'm not worried too much. Actually gonna go for proxy two or not proxy two gate. He's gonna go for two gates to wall. He knows it's Miso. He knows Miso may want to end this game incredibly quickly. And can he actually win with counter aggression? Miso has been beaten by a foreign player before. He may be in like he may have qualified for ASL5, uh, but he is not unbeatable. Yonzerg beat him in Havaknu. Uh, in the previous weekend, of course, it was quite late for Miso at night, but not to take away from Yon's win and his uh, dance at the end as well. Uh, looks like we're actually going to see a very quick uh, hatchery here from Miso, weirdly going for his front base rather than the gas base. I guess he just wants to be a little bit more safer. Uh, it does give you the creep and the option of building the sunken colony in the um, in the choke. Uh, but yeah, they were some really, really good games that Eon played against me. So of course that is a ZVZ. Uh, this is a ZVP. Uh, but it does mean that Miso is not as unbeatable as people think he is. Uh, but yeah, if you can, I would recommend definitely going back to check out the... Uh, uh, to check out the uh, the games that Eon played versus me. So you can see them on his stream. And there is an incredibly funny clip of Eon dancing around his room once he won. Uh, here we go. The first seller is on the way. How much damage can it do? It looks like he's waiting a little bit. And I'm often, I'm also wondering if this may be waiting a little bit too long. The Zergling count is going up. And as I did mention before, uh, if you weren't tuned in for the first part of the cast, uh, this is a cool map with like a weird circular bit here, but the Zerglings could go for a counter attack. There isn't going to be a cannon ready. Uh, is he actually going to add a forge? Here we go. Zealots moving in. Can they get into a good enough position? Looks like the probe is going to try and help out, but the link movement from Miso is very, very strong. And Batosai needs to make sure he is not getting himself caught out here. Zealots move in for a little bit of aggression. He needs to try and do something with these, though. Uh, if he does get baited away by the Zerglings too long, uh, there will be a lot more Zerglings coming in. Looks like Batosai has almost uh, given up his push a little bit. He's trying to go back into the corner to get the best possible engagement he can. But with this many Lings out on the map, I'm not sure it's going to be possible. Another Zealot does come in from the side. How is this engagement going to go? Looks like the Zerglings are doing a very good job, but the Zealots are trading very, very efficiently. But I don't think there's going to be enough Zealots here. And this could be a very quick game. But also moving his other Zealot actually back into his uh, natural base. He needs to actually try and hold on now. Uh, do we actually have a forge or anything else coming up? Looks like we do have a probe moving out to try and take an expansion. But he needs to be very careful. There is a lot of speed Zerglings heading to his front. This is a very hard place to wall. Zerglings are going to flood in from all angles. And it's going to be very difficult for Batosai to hold on to this position. If he goes back to defend his probes, which he has to, uh, he's going to lose his gateways. 
He's going to pull his probes to try and fight with this, but Miso actually going for the Nexus. Can he get the Nexus? Ling through so much damage early on. And with uh, the Zealots without any speed, Ling's with speed now kicked in. Uh, I must have miscalled that, actually. But here we go. Ling's just going to be so annoying. Protoss players can actually lose to two Ling's in your base. I, I don't want to I don't want to even begin to imagine how hard it is with, like, eight Ling's. Uh, let's just actually double check how many there are. Okay, so there was eight at the time. Uh, this Valiant Zealot's going to try and do what it can. It's trying to pull back to the, the probes, but... Oh my god, he needs to do perfect drilling here to get the Zerglings away from his base. It looks like, as you can see from the bottom of the map here, it looks like the Zealots are actually going to go on a counter-attack. There's no defense here from Miso. This could be a very, very strong counter. He may actually be able to get in before the Sunters are done. Are the Zealots going to be able to do it? The Zerglings have been pulled back from his main. And what are the Zealots going to do? He needs to start attacking something. He needs to make a decision. This is the moment he could win the game. But it looks like he's waited too long. He's not killed a single drone. And these zealots, while they're in the main, two of them are stuck on the drone drill. And I think Miso may have enough to defend. It looks like he's trying to get behind the uh, minerals. If he can do this, this will be a very strong position to trade very efficiently against the Zerglings. But the Link Micro of Miso is absolutely incredible. And he has taken the zealots out one by one, even pulling back damage Lings. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Uh, but Batosai missed a very strong opportunity he had there to actually end the game with his counter-attack. A little bit of indecision is uh, unfortunately gonna cost Batosai uh, maybe even the game. Uh, he does have a lot of ze uh, zealots back home. It's gonna be very, very hard for Misa to push back in. But as I said before, this isn't Ling Tai and the Ling's just move straight back into the main. And it looks like Batosai is building a Nexus at his mid uh, natural. But can he even defend his Nexus? Is his Nexus going to go down? He's trying to hold on. Can he do it? He can't drill on top. There's no way to drill on top of the Nexus goes down. Miso kills the main Nexus of Batosai. And GG. Miso takes the first game for Seoul.